Hi there, my name is Anique Smeijers. I'm an assistant professor at the Rabat University in the Netherlands and the winner of this year's award for research on disorders of aggression. For our paper entitled The Computations of Hostile Biases Module, Crowning Hostility Biases in a Unified Cognitive Framework. This video started with a question, what are you looking at? When you ask aggressive individuals what happens in a situation in which they act aggressively, they often respond with an answer like, I don't know, he just looked at me. We believe that hostility biases are responsible for this phenomenon. Hostility biases refer to the tendency to perceive social information as hostile. Within the literature, four types of hostility biases have been distinguished. And the first part of our paper consisted of a literature review on these hostility biases and in all age groups. The findings of our literature review showed that there is a positive and robust association between these hostility biases and aggressive behavior in children as well as in adolescents and in adults. So based on our findings and also in line with previous literature, we assume that hostility biases are a key characteristic of severe aggressive behavior. Even though this association is well known, it is still unknown how exactly those hostility biases are acquired. And this leads me to the second part of our paper in which we present a new module on creating an understanding of the underlying mechanisms of hostility biases, our computations of hostile biases module. And to briefly explain this module, I would like to introduce John. John was walking down a shopping street. He had a rough night and he was in an irritated mood. In a distance, he sees a man walking in his direction. He thinks this man is looking at him. He can't see his face very clearly, but he thinks that he notices a grimace on his face. And when a man passes John by, he bumps into him quite firmly. So immediately, John starts to yell, what are you doing? Watch out, did you do that on purpose? Do you want to fight? This is an illustration of a hostility bias. But with the current approach that we have for research, we are able to observe the social cue that has been interpreted incorrectly. We are able to observe or assess several forms of hostility biases, and we are able to observe or assess aggressive behavior. But the underlying processes responsible for these biases and its association with aggression is actually a huge black box. Within our model, we do a first attempt in explaining what we call these latent underlying processes. Processes that we cannot observe, but we can deduce from behavior. So among others, things that play a role uh, in our opinion is for instance, uh, the level of uncertainty. So how certain are you of your perception of the world? How accurate is that? In what way do emotions play a role? And how well can you learn from new information and use that information to adapt your behavior? Based on this module, we have developed a computer task which enables us to estimate each of these processes with such a high precision that it in the end will be possible to have an idea which of those processes is the main driving force of hostility biases. And it also will be possible to make a comparison between subgroups and between individuals. This task is now used in an ongoing proof of concept study and uh, within our lab, but is also used in other international labs. So we could say that our paper is um, a new, starting a new era of research in which it in the end will be possible to create an enhanced understanding of aggressive behavior at the level of its underlying causes. And also in the future, this will be beneficial for clinical practice as it will be possible to target interventions more specifically towards the individual needs. If you're interested in our work and our future findings on uh, our studies on hostility biases, then please follow our work. I also would like to take the opportunity again to thank the Society for the Prevention for Disorders of Aggression for awarding our paper. And thank you for watching.